in retrospect, you know, looking back on it, the only thing that really gives you an opportunity is what you know how to do. Technology will continue to be relevant to the economy. And that early childhood education phase, a lot of times is when children decide whether they're smart or not, whether they have a place or not, whether education is interesting. Uh, How do they view themselves intellectually? So what I wanted to do was create a program that can start to help build that foundation, that confidence, because it's not necessarily about a kid learning a code, right? Every kid's not going to learn JavaScript. Sure, we're yeah. not trying to make every kid a software programmer. What we're, what we're trying to do is give kids intellectual confidence to where they, and, and with our programs, they can get some wins, right? Even though, you know, sometimes in the, in the educational system, is sometimes designed to tell kids that, hey, you're not bright. You're not smart because you can't because you're 10 years old and you can't be still for an hour and listen to me talk and do all of these math problems. When I give them to you because you can't pass the state test. Hey, you're not bright. You're not smart. And you start to internalize that. And that's how you see yourself. So you don't see things in the world. The best jobs, the best uh, starting companies. You don't see like you don't see like those things are for you. So, again, uh, athletes for computer science. Again, it's about. Leveraging our influence as athletes in the classroom with our young students to build that intellectual confidence. And along the way, we identify kids who are really, really have a knack for coding or just problem solving or, 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 or critical thinking. And we can kind of direct them toward that path. Uh, but we would they would never know it's something that they're good at if we didn't take them through this program.